Chapter 381, All Must Die Bai Ningbing widened her eyes in shock as Fang Yuan suddenly appeared out of nowhere. By now, Gu Masters already had a clear understanding of the Three Kings' inheritance. And because she was at Fang Yuan's side, Bai Ningbing had much deeper understanding of Three Kings' inheritance. However, precisely because of this deep understanding, she was even more shocked. Fang Yuan's sudden appearance looked like a simple phenomenon but it contained astonishing implications. Bai Ningbing, do you still remember our vow? I wonder if you still want Yang Gu now. Fang Yuan did not mention how he appeared but looked at Bai Ningbing with his unfathomable and abyssal gaze with his hands behind his back. Humph, as if you don't know the answer. Bai Ningbing snorted and narrowed her blue eyes. She knew Fang Yuan would not speak aimlessly, he definitely had a motive, it seems you need my help. Speak up, don't try to conceal anything, otherwise I will not help. Fang Yuan laughed loudly without being moved, back at Shang Clan City, we took a poison vow that if one side is in mortal danger, the other must help. I will tell you truthfully that not long later, I will be besieged by Gu Masters and I need you as my protector to block any obstruction towards my Gu refinement. Gu Masters Besiegement Hee <laughs> hee, I am not surprised, there are plenty of Gu Masters who want to kill you. But refining Gu? What Gu are you refining? Fang Yuan was straightforward this time and told the whole story directly. The most important thing now was that he needed by Ning Bing's full cooperation. This matter also could not be concealed. Bai Ning Bing was not someone so easy to fool. If because of him hiding the truth, some misunderstanding occurred and caused the Gu refinement to fail in the end, it would be truly disastrous. What? This Gu immortal blessed land's land spirit is still alive. You are refining an immortal Gu. You have truly large guts, you are looking for your own doom. Wait a second. What did you say just now? You killed Tai Mu Bai, and also Wu Gui and Ku Mo. Fang Yuan kept it brief and said the whole story in a few sentences but the information it contained was huge, sending an enormous shock to Bai Ning Bing's mind. She felt like she was listening to a story. Fang Yuan did not speak anymore but directly took out his lute. These Gu. Bai Ning Bing looked at the Gu worms Fang Yuan took out and was flabbergasted, even losing her self control. These Gu were genuine. They were the best proof. You really killed them? Bai Ning Bing stared at Fang Yuan, shock clearly visible in her eyes. Who was Tai Mu Bai? He was Southern Border Super Clan Tai Clan's previous clan leader. He was a genius with outstanding innate talent, his temperament was even more firm and unyielding. His battle accomplishments in his whole life shone with splendor. And with his talent, he researched many battle tactics of the metal path, causing countless enemies to be terror-stricken by the mention of him. At a young age, he roamed outside and his name spread throughout southern border. In his middle years, he ruled Tai Clan with an iron fist and made everyone fear him. At his old age, he became an emperor of a region, his reputation spread wide with no one daring to disobey him. He was venerated as the glory of Tai Clan, radiance of the righteous path. When he announced his seclusion and retirement, many people, be it demonic path or righteous path, let out a breath of relief. Now, he was out of seclusion and that shook many clans. Even Shang Yan Fei would have to bow in front of him to greet him. The rank 5 Gu master of Wu clan Wu Lan Shan was the cousin of the current Wu clan leader, but even she had to bow despite her pride when facing Tai Mu Bai. And this Tai Mu Bai had died by Fang Yuan's hands. Not only him, Wu Gui and Ku Mo, two rank 5 Gu masters also lost their lives to Fang Yuan. Even more absurdly, not only did they die, all their Gu worms were taken by Fang Yuan. These three rank five Gu masters really died with grievance. Even by Ning Bing, this outsider, 
felt stifled at the deaths of Tai Mu Bai and others. All right, it is about time. Next, I will send you to King Quan Inheritance. Advance through the rounds according to my instructions. I need dog beasts, the more the better. Fang Yuan's tone was hasty. Humph, I did not say I will help you. Bai Ning Bing's gaze flickered. Fang Yuan smiled, don't worry, if I succeed, I will give Yang Gu to you. Besides, there will be other benefits as well. After leaving San Cha Mountain, you can go wherever you want to, I won't stop you if you want to part ways and will also welcome you if you want to go together. But whether you agree or not, I will refine the Gu. Bai Ning Bing was exasperated, you. You shameless guy, you are relying on the poison vow to force me. If Fang Yuan was attacked and died while refining Gu, then according to the poison vow, Bai Ning Bing would also die. That is to say, Bai Ning Bing must protect Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan sighed, his tone became mild and even seemed to have a trace of gentleness. Ning Bing, this is not a threat, but cooperation. Think about it, since Qing Mao Mountain, we have been cooperating, and no dangers have been able to stop us as many enemies fell under our feet. This time is also not an exception. Weren't you always wanting Yang Gu? You can turn back to a male when you obtain it. Or have you have become fond of your female identity? Bai Ning Bing felt goosebumps all over her when she heard Fang Yuan call her Ning Bing. And when she heard Fang Yuan's final sentence, she clearly knew Fang Yuan was spurring her, she could not help feeling provoked and shouted, Shut your mouth. It is settled then. Fang Yuan laughed loudly and waved his hand, giving Bai Ning Bing a dog enslavement gu, then disappeared. The scene before Bai Ning Bing also changed suddenly, and she was sent to the first round of King Quan inheritance by the land spirit. Fang Yuan suddenly appeared in front of Wulan Shan. Wulan Shan got a shock when someone suddenly appeared in front of her. But she was a famed figure and a majestic rank 5 Gu master, calming her mind in seconds. Little Beast King, it is you. You can casually enter and exit this place. Wulan Shan retreated a step, sharp light blossoming in her beautiful eyes. Fang Yuan pointed his little finger and shot out a bone spear. Puchi. There was a soft sound as the bone spear pierced through Wu Lan Shan's heart like lightning. Wu Lan Shan's beautiful flower like appearance seemed to be frozen as she looked at Fang Yuan incredulously You, you can use Gu. The moment she finished saying this, her aura dissipated, indicating her demise. Another rank 5 Gu master died. However, Fang Yuan did not obtain her rank 5 Gu. The moment Wulan Shan died, a mysterious light burst out of her body and enveloped her three rank five Gu worms, tearing through space and bringing them away. Fang Yuan was not surprised, he knew Wu clan had a rank six immortal Gu called No Loss Gu which possessed the mystical ability to retrieve precious Gu worms. Although this blessed land could restrict a Gu worms of rank one to five, it could not restrict immortal Gu. In fact, no blessed lands can restrict the abilities of immortal Gu. Fang Yuan took the rest of the rank 4 Gu which were also quite valuable. After that, he took out beast placenta Gu and swallowed Wu Lan Shan's aperture. This was already the fourth rank 5 Gu master's aperture. Beast placenta Gu was nourished and looked like a delicate pottery, and gave a sleek feeling at touch. Fang Yuan analyzed it and found the aptitude had increased to 75%. The aptitude became more difficult to raise the higher it became. At first, the aptitude had directly raised to 40% when the beast placenta Gu had swallowed just Tai Mu Bai's aperture. Later, it swallowed apertures of Wu Gui, Ku Mo, and Wu Lan Shan in a row, and was only able to raise by another 35%. Of course, this has to do with the foundation of the Gu Master. There are altogether five rank five Gu Masters on San Cha Mountain. But only Tai Mu Bai, 
Ku Mo and Wu Gui are at rank 5 peak stage, among them, Tai Mu Bai's foundation was the most profound with the huge amount of resources from Tai clan. Wu Lan Shan and Wang Xiao are both at rank 5 upper stage. And Chou Jiu is only at rank 5 initial stage. Killing these people might not be enough to raise the aptitude by another 10%. But no worries, there are plenty of Gu masters, Yi Hua, Kong Ri Tian and the rest, all of them must die. Corpse dog is purple all over, its skin is slightly rotten, its lower back is crooked and its canines protrude out. Use Yin dogs to restrain them and you will definitely succeed. Choose the left path, the reward for that round is three tasks at once Gu which will be of great help to you. Next, you will encounter a heavy Thai dog king. It is in a seriously injured state but is even more ferocious. You will need to sacrifice a lot of dogs to capture it. This dog king is the only heavy Thai dog king in the first 20 rounds. At the 22nd round, there will be a large group of wandering heavy Thai dogs, you can use heavy Thai dog king to directly recruit them without losing anything. There would be a voice guiding by Ning Bing every time she progressed through a round. This voice was of the land spirit. Immortal essence was scarce, the land spirit moved by Ning Bing to King Quan inheritance and was not willing to misuse immortal essence on her. By Ning Bing could only go through each round personally. However, although the land spirit's control over the blessed land had fallen to rock bottom, it was extremely clear about the contents of three king's inheritance. There was almost no loss in immortal essence for it to guide by Ning Bing, but to by Ning Bing, it was of extremely huge help, as if there was a bright lantern guiding by Ning Bing through the dark tunnel. Bai Ning Bing was able to make best choice at every round and her strength continued to expand like a snowball. Next, you will encounter a Gu Master as your opponent. But no need to worry, he has just fought a huge battle and only has few dog beasts remaining, you will be able to eliminate him easily. At that time, I will confine him and after you kill him and take his goo, you can greatly increase the number of your goo worms. The land spirit guided again. Bai Ningbing nodded and slowly walked out of the fog. It is you. Her opponent was clearly shocked at her sight. Bai Ningbing was also stupefied, this person was none other than the person who had tried to make things difficult for her and Fang Yuan before he entered the inheritance the Yun clan's young clan leader Yun Luo Tian. Yun Luo Tian arrogantly snorted, you are called by Ning Bing, right? It is your bad luck you ran into me, you don't even have half the amount of dogs I have. He had not even finished speaking when he stopped. His eyes opened wide and his throat let out a strange caw caw sound like a rooster that had its throat jammed. From the mist behind by Ning Bing, a large numbers of dog beasts walked out one after another. Endlessly. Chapter 382, Continue Killing. Impossible. How can you have so many dog beasts? Yun Luo Tian screamed, pointing at Bai Ning Bing, as he shivered, his expression looked like he had seen a ghost. The sheer number of beasts around Bai Ning Bing had surpassed his wildest imagination. How many rounds has it been? Even a rank 5 Gu master cannot reach such a number. Yun Luo Tian screamed as loudly as he could to vent the horror in his heart. You must control some loophole, you cheated. You actually cheated, you shameless scoundrel. Yun Luo Tian's composure was completely gone, he no longer had the attitude of an Yun clan young clan leader. Bai Ningbing sighed lightly. Yun Luo Tian was right, he hit the nail on the head. It is true, she cheated. And it was the blessed land spirit who helped her. Under the land spirit's guidance, she had an easy time going through the King Quan inheritance, like she was on a vacation, it was a complete walk in the park. Compared to the difficulties she faced back when she explored the inheritance alone, this was a clear contrast. The incredulous feeling of cheating cannot be described with words. If doing this means I am despicable, 
I would rather become even more despicable than this, he he he. Bai Ning Bing exclaimed as she waved her hands. Woof, woof, woof. Countless dogs received her commands and moved like flood water. In Yun Luo Tian's vision, he could see a sea of dogs charging towards him like a tsunami. He gritted his teeth, Bai Ning Bing, do not be smug. Once I get out, I will expose you in front of everyone. You know such a huge secret, everyone will be interested, especially those rank 5 Gu masters. Ha ha ha, you are finished. Saying so, he took out a token and used it. But nothing happened. Eh. Yun Luo Tian was shocked, activating it again. What happened? Why is it not working? I used it the last time and I was transported out immediately. His gaze flashed as a bad feeling emerged in his heart, causing his expression to turn uncertain. He took out another and used token, he was the Yun clan young clan leader, he had two tokens to protect him. But this time, there was no effect either. The token stopped working. Yun Luo Tian stared with his eyes wide opened, staring at his token, sweat emerging on his forehead. Bai Ning Bing's dog army had surrounded him, and started slaughtering his dog group. How can this happen? Send me out now. Yun Luo Tian's breathing became quicker, as he used the token frantically, to no avail. Ah! He screamed, his beautiful face distorted with fear. His hair was messy and his eyes were bright red, like an angered bull. It is you, you did this didn't you? It must be you. You made the token ineffective, hee hee, what great methods you have. But be clear of this, I am the great Yun clan young clan leader. If you kill me, you would offend Yun clan. The entire Yun clan won't let you off. Yun Luo Tian recovered from his fear and screamed at Bai Ning Bing. His arrogance as the Yun clan young clan leader was sustaining him, not letting him kneel down and beg for his life, instead he was getting more haughty. But such an attitude was completely useless against Bai Ning Bing. I'm not even afraid of Tai clan, would I fear your tiny Yun clan? Bai Ning Bing snickered. On the battlefield, Yun Luo Tian was alone, his dog groups were no match for Bai Ning Bing's, massacred till none was left. Bai Ning Bing willed, and the closest dog barked before pouncing on Yun Luo Tian. Yun Luo Tian struggled with his life, but his strength could not match the dog. His throat was bitten by the dog, as blood poured out of it. As for the other beasts, they stood in a circle and waited. I curse you. I curse you have to a terrible death. Yun Luo Tian cursed before he died, his tone filled with hatred and anger. Bai Ning Bing shook her head in disdain, walking forward and keeping Yun Luo Tian's goo worms. This Yun Luo Tian walked the cloud path, they were all rank for goo, and were all of high quality. As for the enslavement path goo worms he obtained from King Quan inheritance, they greatly benefited by Ning Bing's goo worms. As for his corpse, it was teleported by the land spirit, sent to Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was stepping on Wang Xiao, forcing out the location of Wu Mountain. Wang Xiao was the owner of Wu Mountain, a rank 5 upper stage goo master, a true regional emperor. He was an established expert. If it was outside, Ten Fang Yuan added together would not be his match. But here, Fang Yuan defeated him easily, like dealing with a baby. Wang Xiao was extremely angry, he was stepped on by Fang Yuan, as his face and the soil made intimate contact. For a great rank 5 Gu master, the Lord of Wu Mountain, this was a great humiliation. You want to know how to enter Wu Mountain? He <laughs> he, stop your wishful thinking. Kill me if you want, after you kill me, you will not be able to know that true path to enter the mountain. Wang Xiao sneered as he struggled intensely, but Fang Yuan could use his strength path Gu Worms, Wang Xiao could not compare to him in terms of strength. 
After an intense struggle, he was breathing heavily out of exhaustion, while Fang Yuan's leg was still firm as a mountain. Wu Mountain was a slightly famous mountain among the hundred thousand mountains of southern border. This mountain was mysterious and illusionary, hidden in a deep layer of fog. In the fog, there were many small paths, but only one led inside. Wang Xiao knew this path, and thus entered the mountain and made the mountain's resources his. Like Qing Mao Mountain, a famous mountain like Wu Mountain had at least three to four spirit springs. Other than that, there were large numbers of wild beasts and wild gu. All sorts of resources that could sustain three to four middle-sized clans. But Wu Mountain was completely owned by Wang Xiao. Wu Mountain is a natural danger zone, it is easy to defend and no matter how many righteous Gu masters there are, they cannot break into it by force. Wang Xiao used this to become a regional emperor, living freely and easily. If I obtain it, I could use it as my base, and I would have no worries for my rank 5 resources. Fang Yuan thought. Wu Mountain was Wang Xiao's good fortune, Fang Yuan desired it greatly. But Wang Xiao refused to speak, he knew that once he spoke, he would be killed. Not speaking gave him a chance of survival instead. Pew. At this moment, with a light sound, Yun Luo Tian's corpse was transported over. Fang Yuan kicked Wang Xiao aside, walking over to the corpse and used the beast strength placenta goo to devour the aperture. It's him. That Yun clan young leader. Wang Xiao recognized Yun Luo Tian, and also witnessed Fang Yuan using beast strength placenta goo, his heart chilled. Fang Yuan was obviously killing people to refine goo. This goo can devour apertures, not good, my aperture is way more valuable than Yun Luo Tian's. This beast strength placenta goo had already become smooth and clear, like a beautiful porcelain. But in Wang Zhao's eyes, it was extremely dangerous and mysterious, giving off a demonic feeling. Seeing Fang Yuan walk over, Wang Xiao shouted, Wait, wait. We can negotiate, I can promise you to give you the actual path into the mountain, but you must ensure my safety, I have one poison vow goo on me. Fang Yuan's killing intent surged, although he had the eating one's words goo and can break the vow, he had little time now. How could he waste time to create the eating one's words goo? As he killed these goo masters, his immortal essence was depleting, and the blessed land was getting closer to destruction. The longer they dragged, the weaker the land's spirit, and the less immortal essence he had to refine the second aperture goo. At the same time, the blessed land's flow of time was three times the outside world. The spring autumn cicada was posing a huge threat. Fang Yuan killed so many people, he already used nearly two portions of the immortal essence, about half of his planned amount. The blessed land's destruction was accelerated, and some people should be able to feel it already. Fang Yuan's greatest advantage was having the initiative. If he continued to drag this, it would get more disadvantageous for him. Compared to the second aperture goo, Wu Mountain's benefits were huge but not irreplaceable. Speak, which is the path into Wu Mountain? Fang Yuan stepped, and broke Wang Zhao's right wrist, shouting sharply. Let me go and I'll tell you. Wang Xiao screamed in pain. Humph, stubborn. Fang Yuan stepped again, the sound of bone breaking was heard as Wang Zhao's left kneecap was crushed to bits. Wang Xiao shuddered under the pain, as sweat flowed down his back, but he gritted his teeth and stared deeply at Fang Yuan, refusing to speak. Fang Yuan was silent, knowing that coercion would not work. Wang Xiao was an expert of a generation. He had a cruel and ruthless nature, never going easy on his enemies, but also strict on himself. He designed an ice water bed for himself. Such a bed, as long as one sleeps for six hours, the entire bed would sink into the ice water below. Wang Xiao slept on such a bed, only resting for six hours a day. 
he encouraged himself and worked hard, giving it all his effort. Other than eating, cleaning, and resting, all his other time was spent on cultivation. His aptitude was not extremely good, uncomparable with Tai Mu Bai and Bai Ning Bing. But because of his hard work, he climb up step by step, becoming famous in southern border, a great demonic expert that no one dared to look down on. In Fang Yuan's memories, after Wang Shao came to E. Tian Mountain, he killed many righteous experts, and his ruthlessness spread, one time, he even got close to vying for the position of the demonic head. Fang Yuan felt pressure in his heart offending such a person. Killing Wang Xiao was weakening the demonic faction in the Yi Tian Mountain battle. But Wang Xiao could not be kept alive, he had to be killed. I have to refine Gu not long after, I do not want to be attacked by you. Fang Yuan sighed, striking the final move and killing Wang Xiao. Later, he took the Gu and devoured the aperture, this process was extremely smooth. After devouring Yun Luo Tian and Wang Zhao's aperture, the beast strength placenta Gu's aptitude had risen to 83%. As for the immortal essence expenditure, it had reached slightly more than two portions, he had reached a critical stage. Not good, the immortal essence expenditure is higher than my estimation. This blessed land is too old, originating from the antiquity era, it is a miracle that the blessed land is still standing today. Fang Yuan's expression was solemn, the actual expenditure had slightly exceeded his initial estimations. Chapter 383, Profound Concept of the Universe, Demon Venerable Hong Lian Young man, the primeval essence expenditure had deviated from the plans, you should stop now. The land spirit noticed this error, and suggested. Fang Yuan's expression turned cold, retorting immediately, that won't do, 83% is not part of my plans, my plan is to reach 90%. Most things in life do not happen according to one's wishes. How can we get everything we want? Young man, you have been blinded by greed, you are starting to lose your rationality. The land spirit spoke calmly. Fang Yuan cursed in his heart, without the land spirit's help, he could not use the immortal essence. Land spirit was already thinking of stopping, Fang Yuan had to convince it. Ba Gui. Fang Yuan breathed out some turbid air, relaxing his tone, the primeval essence expenditure exceeding by a bit is no big deal. In my plan, we had some spare essence. Fang Yuan planned the immortal essence into sixteen portions. Among that, eight was for Gu refinement, for was to sustain the three kings' inheritance and three portions and a bit more for killing Gu masters. The final bit would be kept as spare in case anything happened. Fang Yuan had a meticulous nature, he had planned this for so long, how could he not have a backup plan? But the land spirit was not convinced, although it was created from lingering thoughts, it had intelligence and could think. Young man, your calculation is incorrect. Have you ever considered that the Gu refinement process might fail? There is no way you won't have issues, once you fail you will waste immortal essence. Eight portions to refine Gu, that was the minimum requirement, that last bit of immortal essence is to allow you to waste when you make multiple attempts. Now that you want to use up this bit, if you fail the refinement even a little bit more, the second aperture Gu's refinement will not succeed. Land spirit retorted. Fang Yuan was anxious secretly, he had not passed the test and was not the blessed land's owner, he could not directly command the land spirit. If land spirit refused to cooperate, there was nothing he could do. There was still a rank 5 Gu master and many rank 4 experts left in the blessed land now, these will all be obstacles for him when he refines the immortal Gu later. Fang Yuan killing these people now was to eliminate his future enemies, to protect himself. But the immortal essence left in the blessed land was simply too little, Fang Yuan had to carefully think and plan his usage properly. At the same time, he had to face the blessed land's inspections. Young man, 
stop taking risks. If you continue being adamant, I will not cooperate with you, I will even take away your examination chance, and leave the opportunity for others. Lan's spirit was firm in its tone. Fang Yuan sighed deeply hearing this. Lan's spirits were very rigid, in this situation, it was nearly impossible to convince the land spirit. We can keep the others, but that rank 5 Gu master has to die. He is one of the four great doctors of southern border, he has a great network and relationship, we have to eliminate him to be safe. Fang Yuan urged. For your safety during refinement, you have already planned to use that young girl, together with the beast groups, she can block them for a while. At the same time, I will risk my life to protect you. The most important thing is the success or failure of your Gu refinement. Lan spirit denied Fang Yuan's suggestion. Fang Yuan's expression sank. The final rank 5 Gu Master Cho Jiu, known as Killer Ghost Doctor, although his battle strength was not outstanding, he had great influence. In his previous life's memories, he went to E. Tian Mountain and joined the demonic faction. Next, he obtained the third in control position. With a wave of his hand, countless Gu masters gathered. With his healing, the demonic faction faced less deaths and injuries, their morale surged and that caused great problems for the righteous path. Only until Shang Yen Fei invited Dr. Su Shou, together with Divine Dr. Xing Shou, did they manage to suppress Cho Jiu's glamour. The Battle of E. Tian Mountain made everyone see the ability of Cho Jiu. The Killer Ghost Doctor also became publicly recognized as the head of the Four Great Doctors. After E. Tian Mountain was subdued by the Righteous Path, Cho Jiu was captured, and Wu Clan leader valued his talent and wanted to recruit him. But Cho Jiu refused to submit, scolding Shang Yen Fei and Dr. Su Shou, exposing some of their ancient history, causing the furious and ashamed Shang Yen Fei to kill him on the spot. Any rank 5 Gu master was a genius, they cannot be underestimated. These Gu masters could emerge from the commoners, and ascend to the peak of the mortal realm in such a cruel environment, surviving many rounds of elimination, they were all heroes or champions. Once he thought about how a person like Cho Jiu might attack during the final step of the Gu refinement, Fang Yuan could not rest easy. Although my cultivation is rank 4 upper stage, and my cultivation speed is stunning, on this huge stage, I am still too weak, I cannot contend with these rank 5 Gu masters. If I had my rank 6 cultivation back in my previous life, no matter how many rank 5s come, I can kill them all like livestock. Fang Yuan sighed internally. You still want to kill someone? Impossible, I will not allow it. Immortal essence cannot be wasted like this, we have to preserve most of it for the Gu refinement. Lan spirit heard Fang Yuan's request and immediately rejected him, demonic Gu masters are all like this, they like to take risks. Sigh, young man, do not be so extreme. In this world, why do you think the righteous path is blooming and suppressing the demonic path? It is because demonic path is too extreme, too greedy, and likes to place themselves in danger. The righteous path pursues stability, slow and steady, unmovable like the mountain. Ba Gui, you are wrong. Demonic path members have a tough life, they are forced to take extreme means, if they did not fight for the greatest benefits at every given opportunity, and did not take risks, how could they cultivate, how could they compete with the righteous path? Greed, selfishness, extremity, and risk-taking, these are all laws of survival of the demonic path. As long as the benefits are enough, so what if we have to walk on a tightrope? One wrong step leads to game over, making the impossible possible, that is the excitement of the demonic path. The life of a demonic path member is like wine, intense and alluring. Fang Yuan rebuked loudly. Land spirit heard such words and sighed endlessly, Young man, the demonic nature is too entrenched in you, you can't turn back anymore, in the future it will lead you to destruction. If heaven commits a sin, it can be forgiven, 
but if one commits a sin himself, he deserves to die. Fang Yuan laughed loudly, ha ha ha, Ba Gui, you are too naive. What is a sin? Committing a sin means one deserves death, that is only the weakling's naive and helpless expectation, they spread such ideology, hoping people would abide by it so as to protect these weaklings. As for me, I want to be a person who commits a sin, yet is able to roam freely and travel the world, a demonic head who slaughters living beings and enjoys all that I can get. I not only want to slaughter goo masters, I also want to succeed in refining the second aperture goo and become the greatest winner. Ba Gui, feel this, what do you think this is? Saying so, Fang Yuan activated the spring autumn cicada, and for the first time, leaked its aura out into the world. The land spirit was flabbergasted. This, this is the aura of a rank 6 immortal goo. It seems, it seems to be the spring autumn cicada. Spring autumn cicada is the seventh mysterious goo in this world. You are a mere mortal, how can you possess such an immortal goo? To convince the land spirit, Fang Yuan took a gamble and exposed the existence of the spring autumn cicada. Spring autumn cicada was a rank 6 goo, and the second aperture goo was also an immortal goo, such benefits were enough for Fang Yuan to take this risk. Why can't a mortal own an immortal goo? I'll tell you the truth, the spring autumn cicada was refined by me. Fang Yuan said. I understand, I get it. You were a goo immortal, but you used the spring autumn cicada to rebirth and came back to the past to change history. Land spirit gasped and sighed. Oh. Ba Gui, you seem to know some information regarding the spring autumn cicada, please enlighten me. Fang Yuan quickly inquired. Since the immemorial era, there were two types of goo masters, space path and time path, forming the basis of heaven and earth. Space path represented up, down, left, and right, while time path represented past, present, and future. Take my blessed land for example, at its peak, there was 6,000 square kilometers of land, and the flow of time was six times the normal speed. Land spirit said. How much was 6,000 square kilometers? On earth, that is about the size of Brunei. As for six times the normal speed of time, it was measured according to the river of time. At its peak, the blessed land's time was six times of the outside world. Six days inside the blessed land was one day outside. Of course, by now, the blessed land had severely weakened, not only were the territories mostly eroded, the flow of time was only three times as fast. In this world, there were many different blessed lands, and the size and flow of time were all different. Land spirit continued, Spring Autumn Cicada is one of the goo worms of the time path. Back then, it had a master who left his name in history, that is demon venerable Hong Lien. He resisted the immortal court, and broke the chains that bound fate, giving the people of the future hope, and allowed them to grasp their own fate in their hands. Demon Venerable Hong Lien The most mysterious demon venerable in history? Fang Yuan gasped. In the Gu world, rank 9 was venerable. Demon Venerable meant a rank 9 demonic path Gu Master. Immortal Venerable is a rank 9 righteous Gu Master. In the eons of history, Demon Venerable and Immortal Venerable were merely a handful of people, they represented a supreme legend. There was only one Venerable in each era, never did two appear at the same time. Thus, Venerables represented true invincibility. And among these ranked nine Venerables, Demon Venerable Hong Lien was the most mysterious, and had the least records in history. Even Fang Yuan merely knew about his existence. Now, this was the first time he was hearing about Demon Venerable Hong Lien's details. Land Spirit continued, This world, wide as one can imagine, is split into five regions, north, south, east, west, and central. They are close together, yet completely independent regions. With one river of time, flowing from the past, through the present, towards the future. 
that is the time and space of this main world. If one says that history is a series of still images, then the river of time is a thin thread that connects these numerous images into a line, you used the spring autumn cicada, forcing your way out of the images, and traveled along the line, moving in the reverse direction as you inject your will and memories into one of the images. That would cause this image's events to change, and consequently affect the future images as well. So that's it. Fong Yuan benefited greatly from Land Spirit's words. He had used the spring autumn cicada twice, and each was a unique experience, causing Fong Yuan's understanding of the spring autumn cicada and the river of time to become clearer. Land Spirit's words gave Fong Yuan the inspiration for a new and unique understanding. To think that you are a future Gu immortal, and even refine the spring autumn cicada. In this blessed land, you are truly the most appropriate candidate to refine this Gu. Never mind, since you are so confident, I shall trust you once, who do you want to kill? Land Spirit gave in. Originally, it thought Fang Yuan was only immortal, he would definitely waste a lot of immortal essence when refining Gu. But right now, it recognized Fang Yuan's Gu immortal identity, and reduced the estimated immortal essence that he would potentially waste, thus accepting Fang Yuan's request. Fang Yuan smiled and promised, Land Spirit, it is right to trust me. I will not disappoint you, the Gu refinement will succeed. In the future, I have to rely on this second aperture Gu to ascend to Gu Immortal Realm once again. Land Spirit laughed too, having a sense of acknowledgement towards Fang Yuan, that's right, you are a Gu Immortal, you know the value of the second aperture Gu much more than mortals. When you become a Gu Immortal, the second aperture will give you unparalleled benefits. Chapter 384, Scheming Ghost Doctor, Secret Door of Life and Death To think that this three kings inheritance is a trap, the true winner is you, little beast king. Killer Ghost Dr. Cho Jio laid on the ground, staring deeply and closely at Fang Yuan as he exclaimed. After Fang Yuan convinced the land spirit, he rushed to Cho Jio and beat him up. Cho Jio had an ugly appearance, his hair was like dry yellow grass, his brain was protruding and his eyes were of different sizes. His cheekbone was very high, his nose was flat, there was a large clump of hair growing out of his nostrils, and his yellow teeth were projecting outwards. But his gaze was very complicated, he had a plotting ability that ordinary people could not possess. Little Beast King, I know about you, you have great talent, from a vagabond, you grew to this extent, I admire you greatly. Compared to you, I am merely several years older. When I was young, I did not have such accomplishments. You are a dragon among men, you will eventually soar to the heavens, and roam the world freely. I have no intentions to be enemies with you, if possible, I would like to use the information regarding the door of life and death to preserve my life. Fang Yuan had killed four rank five Gu masters earlier, some of them were shocked, some furious, some fearful, but this Cho Jiu was extremely calm. After understanding his situation, he placed his ego down and praised Fang Yuan. He laid on the ground, not moving, as if he gave up on resisting. But at this moment, the land spirit suddenly transmitted, quickly kill him, he is activating his token and goo worms furiously, I am trying to suppress them but this is causing great immortal essence expenditure. But Fang Yuan was slightly stunned, almost thinking he had hallucinated, door of life and death. This door of life and death was a big deal, it was recorded in, a secret forbidden land in ancient times. It was similar to the river of time and ordinary abyss. After Verdant Great Sun died, Ren Zhu went to the door of life and death to attempt to revive him. Legend says that behind the door of life and death holds the secrets of life and death, if a person can comprehend it completely, they would be able to control life and death itself. Cho Jiu knows the location of the door of life and death. Fang Yuan's heart was palpitating, as his expression turned cold, warning severely, Cho Jiu, 
activate your goo worms one more time and I will kill you immediately. Cho Jiu's expression changed, his pupils shrinking as he slowly sat up, looking at Fang Yuan, you can sense me using goo worms. A thought flashed across his eyes, you can use goo worms, while I can't use mine at all. Sai, it seems there is only one possibility, the land spirit is still alive and you subdued it. So this blessed land has such a secret. What a pity, back when the three kings obtained this place, they did not truly control the blessed land, thus you have obtained it now. But this blessed land is on the brink of destruction, there is no way to save it. The land spirit must be extremely old and weak too right, otherwise the goo masters would have been chased out already. Why would you need to eliminate us personally? Although Fang Yuan did not control this blessed land, after expressing his identity, the land spirit would listen to some of his instructions in order to assist him with the Gu refinement. Cho Jiu was over a century old, he was old and scheming, easily guessing the scenario. Since you control the blessed land, then I won't bother with this pointless act. As long as you preserve my life, what you will obtain will be out of your imagination. Cho Jiu said, stopping his secret actions. Fang Yuan laughed without denying, talk about the door of life and death. You know the location. The door of life and death is a forbidden ground not inferior to the river of time, there is an extremely wide area inside, reflecting the five regions of the main world. Legend says that there are many unique and natural goo worms inside, like life goo, and death goo. Cho Jiu nodded, I know the door's location, not only that, I have even explored it multiple times and captured some of the life goo and death goo inside, eventually refining one life one death goo. I placed this goo inside the door of life and death, every time a person dies because of me, it will absorb this death energy and convert it into life force. Because of this life force, my healing methods are extremely profound. This is the reason why I became one of the four great doctors of Southern Border. Killer Ghost Doctor revealed his own secret, to increase his trustworthiness. Oh. So that's it. This was the first time Fang Yuan heard such a thing, although he had his previous life's memories, he was not all-knowing. Then in that case, tell me, and I may spare you a life. Fang Yuan promised. But Cho Jiu shook his head, the secret regarding the door of life and death is way too important. I have once vowed before the sea oath Gu, to not reveal the details to outsiders. Once I say it, I will turn into dust, wiped off from this world. But if you join the shadow sect, you will be one of us, and I will be able to tell you. Sea oath Gu. Shadow sect. Fang Yuan frowned. Sea oath Gu is a rank 6 immortal Gu, it was very famous during ancient times, together with Mountain Pledge Gu. Mountain Pledge and Sea Oath, they worked like the Poison Vow Gu, but Poison Vow Gu was an expenditure Gu while these two immortal Gu could be repeatedly used. Fang Yuan had heard of the Sea Oath Gu and had an understanding of it. But he was unfamiliar with Shadow Sect. Hearing this name, it sounds like a sect for Gu cultivators. That means, the loner Cho Jiu, had a secret organization behind him. Fang Yuan felt a little threatened, the situation was slightly out of his expectations. It was not hard to kill Cho Jiu now, but Fang Yuan knew nothing about Shadow Sect, this gave him a sense of insecurity. That's right, my sect is the Shadow Sect. The great ancestor who created Shadow Sect, was a rank 8 Gu immortal of the immemorial era. He was the one who found the door of life and death, and placed it into his blessed land. Later, many Gu immortals were nurtured in Shadow Sect, the benefits are endless for you if you join Shadow Sect. Saying so, Cho Jiu said a bunch of benefits, truly expending his verbal talent, spouting an exaggerated tale. Fang Yuan struggled a little, before calming down, he he he, Cho Jiu, that's a nice plan there. If I join Shadow Sect, you not only will be free from danger, I will even have to call you senior brother. In such a traditional sect, 
respecting seniority is the most important thing. If I join it, I will definitely have to make an oath and be restricted with all sorts of methods. At the end, I even have to contribute my gains on San Cha Mountain, and do missions for the clan in the name of loyalty, am I right? Shadow Sect Fong Yuan sneered, shaking his head, let's not talk about the possibility of you lying, even if it is real, so what? A sect that was created in the immemorial era, it is a miracle that it is still around now. You mentioned there were many Gu immortals in history, but they are mostly dead already right? Otherwise, Shadow Sect would be a great force in the southern border, why would you have to fight alone, and slog it out single-handedly? Cho Jiu's expression turned white, he had to reassess Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was so young, but he was so calculating and scheming. Facing potential benefits, he could remain so calm and analytic, what sort of young man is this? He is definitely a hundred-year-old monster. Fang Yuan laughed heartily, continuing, I am the type of person who likes to take all the benefits for himself, don't tell me about win-win situations. Even if you made the sea oath, it is not unbreakable. Sea oath Gu and Mountain Pledge Gu have an obvious weakness. When you made the oath, you had to face the sea or a large mountain. As long as the piece of ocean or the mountain is destroyed, the oath will lose its effect. Cho Jiu's heart froze. Fang Yuan was knowledgeable and knew many things, he was not like a newbie at all. These kind of people were the hardest to fool. Cho Jiu calmed his spirits, it is useless. The sea that I made the oath to is inside the shadow sect blessed land, if you want to destroy that sea, you will need to know the location of the blessed land. But for me to say that location, you have to destroy the sea first. It is a dead loop. Fang Yuan sneered, killing intent surging, since there is nothing that can be done, forget it. You can die now. Cho Jiu sighed greatly, if you want to kill me, go ahead. He did not move, but in his heart, he felt certain. The door of life and death was a legendary location, who did not care about their life and death. Little Beast King definitely cannot endure such a temptation, his actions now were only to scare him. But Fang Yuan shot out the bone spike resolutely. This bone spike flew towards Cho Jiu's heart. At once, an intense sense of danger assaulted Cho Jiu. What? He actually wants to kill me? Cho Jiu was shocked, quickly evading. Pew! A crisp sound and the bone spike pierced his shoulder, inches away from his heart, only after it stabbed through his back did it stop. You, you! Cho Jiu pointed at Fang Yuan, his trembling voice contained fear, shock, and confusion, little beast king, you madman. You really wanted to kill me, if I did not dodge, I would have died. That is the door of life and death, the door of life and death. Back then, even Ren Zhu had to spend all his effort to find it. This is an unparalleled holy land, the controller of life and death, as long as you can obtain it and comprehend it, you will attain immortality. Fang Yuan looked at him coldly, speaking plainly, didn't you say you can't tell me the secret? Then what use do I have of you? You can join the shadow sect. Cho Jiu's body was sweating, either out of pain or fear. Fang Yuan snorted coldly, raising his hand and aiming again. Cho Jiu quickly waved his hand, shouting, wait, wait, don't be rash. There are other methods than this, we can use the poison vow Gu, if we make a poison vow, we can trust each other. I do not need your trust. Fang Yuan replied coldly. Then use the slavery Gu, I will acknowledge you as my master, don't kill me. You are a rank 5 Gu master, we need to use the rank 5 slavery Gu. This Gu is extremely rare, way more expensive than its other rank 5 counterparts, where do you want me to find it? Moreover, even if we use these Gu, can you tell me the location of Shadow Sex Blessed Land? Fang Yuan retorted. Cho Jiu's expression froze. 
Fang Yuan observed his expression, and his heart moved, knowing that the words were true. Fang Yuan's killing intent was not real, he was merely trying to test Cho Jiu. Cho Jiu suggested the poison Vao Gu, slavery Gu, he was already frantic, but still did not dare to mention the location of the Blessed Land. It seems he really did make the sea oath. Cho Jiu wanted to lie and make up a random location. But as long as he did not die from the oath, it means he lied. If he said the real location, the oath would take his life as well. Or rather, even if he managed to say it, he would lose all his value and Fang Yuan would not let him off. In this situation, Cho Jiu was at his wit's end. Recognizing this, he laughed bitterly, to think that I Cho Jiu would die here today. Being able to die in my hands is your honor. Fang Yuan replied plainly. Cho Jiu looked at Fang Yuan seriously, nodding in agreement, that's true, with your talent and mentality, as long as your luck is not too bad, you will definitely be a walking disaster of the demonic path. You want to kill me, there is no point in begging anymore. It is fine if I die in your hands, at least better than getting killed by those scumbags outside. Actually, I have a plan to allow you to learn about the door of life and death. Saying so, a cunning light flashed across Cho Jiu's eyes. Chapter 385 Kindness, Grudge, Affection, Hatred Oh! What method? Fang Yuan's eyebrows raised. Regarding this matter, I have to start from a long time ago. Cho Jiu heaved a deep sigh as he recalled, hatred, grief, deep love and other complicated expressions appeared on his face. I have no time to listen to your story. Fang Yuan ruthlessly interrupted. Cho Jiu choked, then I will make it short. My original name was Zeng Anyo. I was a farmer who made a living by collecting herbs, one time I unluckily fell from a cliff but I profited from it and entered Shadow Sex Blessed Land. By passing the Land Spirits test, I was able to become a disciple of Shadow Sect. The sect only had two disciples, me and a senior sister. Senior sister's surname is Chen and her first name is Jiu, she was as beautiful as an immortal fairy. She was raised by the land spirit since young and had never left the blessed land, thus her nature was truly innocent. Since birth, I was extremely ugly and had always suffered bullying and ridicule. But senior sister was always amiable and warm to me. I slowly started having feelings for her after being in contact with her all the time. We took an oath in front of the blessed land sea, to protect and stand by each other. We cultivated together and entered deep into the door of life and death, capturing life goo and death goo. That was the happiest time of my life and I had thought it could continue forever. After an earth calamity, the land spirit suffered injuries and went into hibernation, a hole appeared in the blessed land and connected it to the outside world, allowing a scoundrel to sneak in. This scoundrel was heavily injured at that time, and if I had known what would happen later because of him, I would have definitely killed him on the spot. But I didn't do that and instead saved him. He claimed his surname was Shang, and had blood-red hair. He had exceptional eloquence, and using his flowery words, he slowly deceived senior sister during his recuperation. His appearance was indeed slightly better than mine and used his pretty boy face to win senior sister's favor. Senior sister was innocent and ignorant, the more she talked with him, the happier she became, in the end, she took the initiative to take care of him in every possible way. We argued many times about this, falling out with each other a lot. After that thief recovered, I wanted to expel him and continue living a fairy tale life with senior sister. But who could have thought her heart had already changed and actually broke the oath we took at that time? injuring me and defecting with that scoundrel. I was really regretful. I regretted my compassion which led to a disaster, and I hated senior sister Chin Jiu for falling in love with somebody else, and even more hatred towards that despicable scoundrel for robbing what I cherished. After I recovered from my injuries, I left the blessed land and roamed around southern border, 
searching for this adulterous couple. But what I didn't know was, this scoundrel had really high status and was the leader of Shang clan. Cho Jiu paused and looked at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was expressionless, he knew many behind-the-scene details due to his previous life memories and already knew who Cho Jiu was talking about in the middle of his conversation. Cho Jiu could only give a forced smile at Fang Yuan's indifference, it seems you have already guessed their identities. That's right, that thief is the current Shang clan leader Shang Yan Fei and my senior sister Qin Jiu is Dr. Su Shou. Shang clan is a super clan while I am a lone force, I roamed around southern border all these years and put in a lot of effort to deal with this adulterous couple. Unfortunately, unfortunately I am going to die here today and have no way of achieving my wish. He he he. Fang Yuan silently listened to end and suddenly laughed. He looked at Cho Jiu who was sitting on the ground, his eyes shining brightly, killer ghost doctor, you made quite a good plan. According to your words, Shadow Sect has only you and Qin Jiu, if you die, I will have to obtain the information about life and death door from Shang Yan Fei and Dr. Su Shou. But why would they tell me about the matters regarding the blessed land of Shadow Sect so easily? At that time, we will have to fight, and no matter who wins, both will be favorable to you. Ha ha ha, little beast king, you are very blunt and straightforward. People who only plot and scheme will always act under the radar, but your thinking is meticulous and your way of doing things is domineering, you are truly a formidable person who has yet to shook the world. You are right, that is my plan. It is an open scheme and you have already seen through it, so are you still going to make inquiries about the shadow sex blessed land from them? Killer Ghost Doctor laughed heartily. Fang Yuan looked at this rank 5 Gu Master for a while before sighing, of course. Life and Death Door was an immemorial forbidden ground like the River of Time. There were many unique Gu inhabiting in that place. Spring Autumn Cicada existed in the River of Time, Life and Death Door naturally also had similar immortal Gu. It was impossible for Fang Yuan to not be moved by such an enormous benefits. Thus, he clearly knew Cho Jiu's scheme, but was still going to go headfirst into it. Chiu laughed loudly with tears appearing in his eyes, Little Beast King, although you are a talent of the younger generation, I really admire you. I really look forward to the future where you collide with that adulterous couple. It is a pity I won't be able to see it. Our shadow sect has different views on life and death. We encountered each other among the countless sea of people because of life and yet my death will be because of you, this is a truly extraordinary fate. Maybe, you really are fated to find shadow sex blessed land and the door of life and death. I might as well give this mysterious fate to you and hope you can grasp it. Cho Jiu became tranquil and his gaze were deep as if he had seen through life and death, it is no matter if I die now, after all in this world, who can live forever. One can gain a long life but immortality is a hopeless prospect. Even those immortal venerable and demon venerable will only turn into ashes in the end. Little Beast King, I will end my own life, you don't need to do it. Saying so, he committed suicide by biting off his tongue. Blood sprayed out as his life went away, the ghost doctor, the head of the four great doctors in the future died like this. I did not expect to gain such important information by killing this ghost doctor. Shadow sex blessed land, life and death door. If I am able to rule them, they will definitely be a foundation to my hegemony. It seems I will have to change my plan again. Every single Gu master who cultivated to rank 5 needed to go through the survival of the fittest and many competitions before they were able to distinguish themselves, none of them were a simple character. They all possessed their own individual opportunities, advantages, trump cards and secrets. Right now, all the rank 5 Gu masters in the blessed land were annihilated by Fang Yuan. Tai Mu Bai, Wu Gui, Ku Mo, Wu Lan Shan and Cho Jiu had their own distinct individuality, deep foundation and powerful strength. 
If the current Fang Yuan was to fight them alone, any one of them could easily suppress him, he was absolutely not their match. So Dr. Su Xiu's real name is Chen Jiu while the killer ghost doctor named himself Cho Jiu, it seems the hatred was born from love. No wonder in my previous life, during the Battle of Etian Mountain, he took the initiative to go there and threw himself into that whirlpool, challenging Shan Yan Fei and confronting Dr. Su Xiu. And after he was taken as a prisoner, he exposed the matter back then and was killed by Shang Yan Fei. As for the kindness, grudge, affection and hatred entangling these three, Fang Yuan did not want to judge. Sympathize with Cho Jiu. But Dr. Su Xiu's choice was also completely understandable. Favor the rich and disdain the poor, detest ugliness and love beauty, these were common in the world. Shang Yan Fei was a famous handsome man in southern border, comparing him to Cho Jiu, one was day and another was night. The main reason Dr. Su Xiu felt deeply attached to Cho Jiu was because she was pure and Cho Jiu was the first male she saw. And later when she met Shang Yan Fei, her eyes were opened and had a comparison. Moreover, Chen Jiu was someone who innately pursued beauty. When a patient came to visit her, she would first look at their appearance. If they were ugly, she would not treat them. If they were average, it would depend on her mood at that time and the patient's examination fees. If they were handsome and beautiful, she would treat them on the spot and not even charge fees. Someone reproached her for this and she argued righteously, you ugly beings, the fact that you are alive is simply staining the beauty of life, you should all just die and that will solve all troubles. As for beautiful things, of course we need to cherish and protect them by all means. These words had caused an uproar in Shang clan city at that time. In the end, Shang Yan Fei personally appeared and suppressed this event. Dr. Su Xiu's position in Shang clan city was unique. Back when Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing saw Dr. Su Xiu together at Shang clan city, the difference in her attitude was very clear. She was indifferent to Fang Yuan whereas she was very gentle and amiable to Bai Ning Bing. But speaking of it, the four great doctors all have their own peculiarity. Leaving aside Killer Ghost Doctor and Dr. Su Xiu, traveling Dr. Zhou Zhi likes to disguise himself as an old beggar and wander around aimlessly. Divine Dr. Xing Shou is a male who likes other males. Fang Yuan thought casually while taking out all the goo of Killer Ghost Doctor. Cho Jiu had many goo worms. Most of them were healing goo and besides that were movement goo. He did not have rank 5 healing goo, but instead had a rank 5 movement goo called warp goo. Warp goo's shape was abstract and looked like a fried twisted dough. Its dark golden body was twisted around 7 to 8 times, its head was twisted around its body, its eyes and wings were misaligned, as if its creator had created it at a whim. However, this appearance instead matched with its original owner's appearance. Fang Yuan slightly sized it up before storing it. Then he used beast strength placenta goo to swallow Cho Jiu's aperture. Looking at Cho Jiu's corpse, he chuckled, Cho Jiu. Cho Jiu, you are really cunning. If I did not have my previous life's memories, I would have truly been deceived by you. Although Cho Jiu was dead, he was hiding a chance of resurrection. In Fang Yuan's previous life, Cho Jiu's throat had been cut and assassinated during the middle stage of the battle in Yi Tian Mountain. But not long later, he came back to life, causing both righteous and demonic path to be extremely startled. It turns out, he had used Remnant Life Goo. Remnant Life Goo was a rank 5 expendable goo, and as long as a goo master's body is intact after death, they can slowly recover after some time and resurrect. However, since Cho Jiu was at the blessed land, the remnant life goo's law fragment in his body was suppressed by the heavenly power and could not activate for the time being. But as long as the blessed land slowly crumbles, its suppression power would weaken and the remnant life goo's power could activate again and resurrect him. 
Cho Jiu had repeatedly praised and flattered Fang Yuan and put on a show that he was carefreely facing death, it was all to give a good impression to Fang Yuan so that after his death, his corpse would not be ripped apart by Fang Yuan. In truth, Fang Yuan also did not have a habit of mutilating corpses. But today, I will make an exception for you. Fang Yuan ruthlessly attacked and soon turned Cho Jiu's corpse into minced meat. He hesitated for a while and was still not satisfied, so he burnt the pool of blood and flesh into ashes. With a wave of his palm, the ashes fluttered and drifted everywhere. Cho Jiu, if you can still resurrect from this, I will admit you have skills. Ha ha ha. Chapter 386 He Also Died. This is the 48th round. Wu Shen Tong counted in his heart. He came from Wu Clan, the number one super clan in southern border, they had deep foundations, and were the supreme overlord of the righteous path. And he was the heavily nurtured enslavement path Gu master in Wu Clan, his attainments in enslavement was nothing to be scoffed at. Wu Shen Tong's name might sound domineering, but in truth, he was thin as a stick, his skin was pale yellow, and he looked like a sickly scholar. In truth, he once had a broad shoulder and thin waist, and had a perfect body. But in one battle, he was afflicted with Long Qing Tian's jade sky goo poison. He went to Divine Dr. Xing Shou for treatment. Divine Dr. Xing Shou touched his chest, his eyes shining as he sighed, You came too late. The goo poison has seeped into your bone marrow. I can preserve your life and cultivation, but because this poison is deeply rooted, it cannot be removed. From now you, you have to come here once in a while for treatment, I will help you detox at regular intervals. Precisely because of Jade Sky Goo's poison, Wu Shen Tong became thinner and thinner each day, eventually ending up like this. I wonder which Goo Master is my next opponent. Wu Shen Tong walked in the fog, his gaze solemn. Just earlier, in the three options, he chose the front path. In King Quan inheritance, towards the later stages, more options appeared. Most Gu masters would choose to fight dog groups for safety, and in truth, they only chose other Gu masters out of desperation. No matter how big the dog group is, they were still beasts. With a Gu master's guidance, even if the dog group is weak, they possessed great threat. Wu Shen Tong, however, took the opposite route, whenever he was given a chance to battle another Gu master, he would not choose any other path. In terms of enslavement path mastery, I am top tier in southern border. In this San Cha mountain, I am almost the best. Only two people can threaten me, one is Wu Gui because he is a rank 5 Gu master that had once walked the enslavement path. But sadly, enslavement path used too much resources and he had to change paths midway. The other is Zhang San San, he is a true enslavement Gu master, but his cultivation is inferior to me. In the enslavement path, Wu Shen Tong had great advantage. In terms of seniority, Zhang San San was his junior. In this King Quan inheritance, even if he had to fight Wu Gui head on, he had no fear. With such great strength, he obviously had to target his enemies and eliminate as many competitors as possible. Eventually, he will be left alone to devour this King Quan inheritance. This was Wu Shen Tong's brilliance. If I had to count, my next opponent should be the 23rd. He he, it is your bad luck to have encouraged me. Wu Shen Tong snorted internally as he stopped his steps. Beside him, his group dog guarded him closely. He looked at the other end of the fog, from the fog, a group of green purple dogs with rotting skin appeared. Oh, corpse dogs! Wu Shen Tong laughed lightly. He knew that these dogs were extremely useful early on in the inheritance. That is because these dogs can consume corpses to recover their injuries. But towards the later parts, these corpse dogs would get weaker and weaker. That is because, these dogs were not as fast as the lightning symbol dogs, 
had lower defense than the steel armor dogs, and were not as united as the chrysanthemum Akita dogs. Only those half-assed enslavement path goo masters would love these useless corpse dogs. Different paths are worlds apart, how would those who aren't enslavement path goo masters know the true meaning of enslavement path without decades of experience? Wu Shintong thought about those goo masters and laughed in disdain. But the next moment he frowned lightly. From the fog before him, corpse dogs continued to appear. This number is slightly huge, it seems that to win, I will have to pay a small price. Wu Shintong thought. But soon, at the same time as the corpse dogs, different kinds of dogs started appearing in his vision. Chrysanthemum Akita dogs. The number is slightly big, hmm, it seems this person has some attainments in the enslavement path. Wu Shintong nodded lightly. A combination of chrysanthemum Akita dogs and corpse dogs, although the number is slightly big, their formation is extremely brittle. I just have to use a few dog kings to charge forward later, and they would disperse easily, as long as I act forcefully, I would be able to defeat them and attain victory. Eh, the other party actually has hedge dogs. From the fog, Wu Shintong saw hedge dogs appearing. These dogs, their entire bodies were filled with spikes, attacking them would injure oneself. If the steel armor dogs with huge defense were called tough, then these hedge dogs were tough with spikes. To eliminate them, one has to be prepared to get their throats punctured. So many hedge dogs. It seems this person is lucky, being able to gather such a huge group. Why didn't I have such luck? Wu Shintong sighed, immediately changing his battle strategy. The opponent had hedge dogs, I will use the steel armor dogs as the vanguard, and flank with the lightning symbol dogs. Once they engage in battle, the steel armor dogs will charge in and encircle with the lightning symbol dogs, attaining victory easily. But after the hedge dogs appeared, large numbers of lightning symbol dogs appeared from the fog. Wu Shintong's expression turned grim. The appearance of the dog group meant his earlier strategy no longer worked. That is because the opponent possessed a dog with high speed like lightning symbol dog, they could reverse flank him. To think they also have the lightning symbol dogs, and so many. More and more lightning symbol dogs appeared in his vision, as Wu Shintong's expression turned ugly. He thought, the other party has so many dogs, this cannot be explained with luck. Evidently, the other part is also an experienced enslavement path goo master, already able to threaten him. Who is it? Is it Wu Gui or Zhang San San? Regardless, this will be a tough fight. I can only improvise my battle tactic and change accordingly, thankfully, I have a token. Thinking so, Wu Shintong's heart settled. He took a look at his dog troop, there, a group of dogs laid on the ground, around a hundred and twenty. The dogs were large in size, twice the size of ordinary dogs, they had sharp claws and their backs were wide and thick, while their nose and mouth resembled a lion's. This was the heavy Thai dog. Heavy Thai dog had defense equivalent to the steel armor dogs. In terms of unity, they matched the chrysanthemum Akita dogs. In this King Quan inheritance, out of the hundred types of dogs, only a few can be part of the main troop. Heavy Thai dog is one of them. Lightning symbol dog, chrysanthemum Akita dog, and steel armor dog, these dogs are too extreme, their weaknesses are too apparently, they cannot be relied on. Only a dog like heavy Thai dog can be relied on. The larger the numbers, the stronger their battle strength. Wu Shintong looked at his heavy Thai dogs, feeling satisfied. These were saved up by him after much difficulty. In usual battles, he did not use them, saving them until now. It seems this will be a hard battle, I have to use the heavy Thai dogs. I believe that when I strike, the opponent should be very surprised. Ha ha ha. Thinking of this, Wu Shintong's lips curled into a smile. 
but the next moment, his smile froze on his face. From the other end of the fog, heavy Thai dogs appeared too. The other party also have heavy Thai dogs. Indeed, they are an expert in enslavement path, they naturally understand the excellence of the heavy Thai dogs, thus they kept a few. More and more heavy Thai dogs appeared from the fog, as Wu Shen Tong started squinting, his brows frowning into a wrinkle. So many, why do they have so many heavy Thai dogs? He had always regarded the heavy Thai dogs as his trump card, seeing his opponent have them placed much mental pressure on Wu Shen Tong. Suddenly, Wu Shen Tong's pupils shrunk as he stared at the fog. He saw a domineering dog king. Heavy Thai Dog King. They actually have a heavy Thai dog king. Wu Shen Tong saw this and his heart sank. With the dog king, the dog group's battle strength will surge several times. More importantly, Wu Shen Tong does not have a heavy Thai dog king to fight back, his trump card would be suppressed by his opponent's dog king and have less fighting strength than normal. In just a short moment, his trump card was no more. Tough battle, this will be an unprecedentedly tough battle. Who is it? Wu Gui or Zhang San San? It has to be one of them. High chance it is Wu Gui. Wu Shen Tong had lost his confidence towards this battle. The opponent's troops are larger than mine, I am likely to lose this. Even if I win this, it will be a tough victory and I would face great losses, unable to continue anymore. Wu Shen Tong felt regret already. But very quickly, he felt more than just simply regret. His eye socket expanded more and more, as his mouth opened subconsciously. His eyeballs were bulging out of his sockets, like his head was hit on the back. His expression turned from suspicious to shock, from shock to fear. From the fog, not only did a large number of heavy Thai dogs appear, even Greenhua dogs, Smoke Song dogs, Light Hang dogs, and Star Hang dogs appeared. Greenhua dogs, a body covered in green scales, having an extraordinary disposition. Smoke Song dogs, oozing smoke from its nose and mouth, extremely rebellious. Light Hang dogs, a body of white fur, bright and gentle. Star Hang dogs, long and slim, stood out from the crowd. How is this possible? Wu Shen Tong screamed, Green Hua, Smoke Song, Light Hang and Star Hang all have differing specialties, they are on the same level, known as the Five Great Mountain One Dogs collectively, able to form a grand formation. How did they get so many dogs? What was hardest for Wu Shen Tong to believe was that the other party not only had large numbers of Five Great Mountain Dogs, they also had their respective dog kings. Who in the world is he? How can he have so many dog kings? Unbelievable! Is this an illusion? In the fog, dogs were still coming out one after another, causing a great mental impact on Wu Shen Tong. Compared to him, the other party was like a giant fighting a baby. They could be compared at all. Wu Shen Tong had no battle intent left. He had no way of winning this battle. The other party just has to wave their hand and the dog groups would overwhelm him, regardless of his manipulation skills, there was no difference. The different in military force could not be made up for with technical skills. Who is it? Did a rank 5 enslavement path Gu Master come to San Cha Mountain? Impossible. Even if it is a rank 5 enslavement path Gu Master, how can they have such a large army? I have to see who the other party is. Wu Shen Tong grabbed his token as he stared at the fog. From the fog, a persona appeared. Finally revealing your true identity. Wu Shen Tong's sweat was dripping down his forehead as he gulped. Swoosh. At this moment, there was a light sound and Fang Yuan appeared behind him. Who? Wu Shen Tong felt something and before he turned back. Fang Yuan placed his palm on his head, squeezing. Splat! 
his head was popped like a balloon. He was dead too. From the fog, Bai Ningbing walked out casually. How many rounds left? She looked at Fang Yuan, yawning, like she had not gotten out of bed. Chapter 387, Rank 5 Slavery Goo Others had to rack their brains and make countless plans to advance through the rounds, people like Wu Tong and Wu Gui also had to meticulously plan and choose their options. But with the help of the land spirit, Bai Ning Bing just had to move forward. The pitiful Wu Tong, a grand rank 4 peak stage Gu master, could not even see Bai Ning Bing's appearance at the end. As for Fang Yuan's appearance, Bai Ning Bing was not in the least bit surprised because the land spirit had reminded her. In fact, this was the cooperation of the two. Fang Yuan needed Wu Tong's aperture while Bai Ning Bing needed Wu Tong's enslavement path Gu Worms and these dog groups he had accumulated. With Wu Tong's death, his large dog beasts group was naturally incorporated into Bai Ning Bing's troops, increasing her enormous dog army by 10%. Looking at the vast dog group, Fang Yuan joyfully nodded, your dog beasts army has already become an initial formation. In this King Quan inheritance, with this group, you can already snowball to the final round without any problems. Remember, at the last few rounds, there are a large group of lion mastiffs. These lion mastiffs are all mutated beasts and have much more battle prowess than the five great mountain dogs. They were the trump cards of King Quan. Besides them, there are two dog emperors, ancient mutated beasts which are more powerful than common mutated beasts. Back in the day, they were the left and right arms of King Quan, each of them can match a rank 5 Gu master, you must subdue them. Bai Ning Bing nodded and left, continuing to charge through the rounds. You are indeed someone who came from the future, using spring autumn cicada to come back to the past. You know about three kings' inheritance inside out. The land spirit transmitted its voice and praised, I need to remind you, the immortal essence portions are almost depleted and are only enough for you to kill two more people. Who do you plan on killing next? Fang Yuan nodded and said without hesitation, Zhang San San. Beast Placenta Gu already had 89% aptitude and shone like a gem. Compared to its previous rough muddy shape, the difference was like night and day. Killing two more rank 4 Gu masters was enough to achieve 90% aptitude. Second aperture's aptitude could not be higher than the Gu master's first aperture. Fang Yuan's first aperture was a grade of 90%. Thus, the second aperture Gu's current limit was also a grade 90%. Even if he raised it to 99%, when it was used, Fang Yuan would only have 90%. The remaining 9% aptitude would be wasted. Of course, if Fang Yuan could raise his first aperture's aptitude in the future, the second aperture would also have the potential to rise. Zhang San San was only a rank 4 upper stage Gu Master, a stage lower than Gu Masters like Yi Hua and Kong Ri Tian. But in Fang Yuan's view, he was the enemy who possessed the most threat. It was because he was an enslavement path Gu master second only to Wu Tong and Wu Gui. Fang Yuan had a plan, Bai Ning Bing is not an enslavement path Gu master in the end and is a complete newbie at commanding the dog groups. Later, she will definitely be confused when commanding so many dog beasts, it will be remarkable if she doesn't make any mistakes. Fortunately, I don't need her to command and control the dog beasts, and only need her to form a huge battle formation to protect the main hall and wait quietly. Like this, it would greatly fill up for her inadequacy in commanding ability. However, such battle formation would be extremely rigid and in case she runs into a proficient enslavement path expert, the situation would turn into a mess. For instance, Wu Tong and Wu Gui would only need to command a small group of dogs to make several attacks and probe out the actual situation. They could then send troops to lure the dog beasts repeatedly and cause disorder in the battle formation, creating a hole in the defense. 
Fang Yuan would need to concentrate all his attention at the crucial stage of refining Gu. Land spirit would also become very weak and all the defense would lie in the dog group, so Fang Yuan naturally wanted to eliminate the enslavement path Gu masters who possessed the most threat. After a while, Fang Yuan killed Zhang San San very smoothly. Even Wu Gui, Wu Shintong and the others were killed by Fang Yuan, Zhang San San naturally could not escape his claws. But his death gave Fang Yuan an unexpected surprise. From Zhang San San's aperture, Fang Yuan actually obtained a rank 5 slavery goo. Slavery goo were available from rank 1 to rank 5. Once these goo were implanted on someone, it could control that goo master. Rank 5 enslavement goo could be used to control rank 5 goo master and was thus very precious and extremely rare. Back in the day on Qing Mao Mountain, Piu clan's fourth generation clan leader had a great battle with Flower Wine Monk. After he lost the battle, he asked for forgiveness and said he was willing to be enslaved by slavery goo and be at Flower Wine Monk's disposal. In the end, Flower Wine Monk was deceived by these words and during his moment of carelessness, he was counterattacked by the fourth generation clan leader, dying regretfully on Qing Mao Mountain. Famous Gu masters are not to be underestimated. This Zhang San San is an enslavement path Gu master, it is not strange for him to possess enslavement Gu. The reason he had not used it was to wait for a good opportunity and get a rank 5 expert. After all, if a rank 5 slavery Gu were to be used on a rank 4 Gu master, it would be a huge loss. Fang Yuan slightly thought and guessed Zhang San San's thoughts. He looked at the beast placenta Gu, its aptitude had already neared 90%, he only needed to kill one more. Immortal essence portions were exhausted, so Fang Yuan could only kill one more anyway. With this enslavement Gu, I can control one person. Sai, if I had known this Zhang San San had this Gu, I would have first killed him and used the enslavement Gu to subdue a rank 5 Gu master. Fang Yuan felt some regret. If he had used this Gu to subdue Tai Mu Bai, it would be greatly advantageous to his Gu refinement. Even if he did not get Tai Mu Bai, Wu Gui, Ku Mo, Wu Lan Shan or Cho Jiu were also extremely good choices. However now, they were all dead, Fang Yuan at best could only subdue rank 4 Gu Master, but using rank 5 enslavement Gu on rank 4 Gu Masters was equivalent to using an ox cleaver to kill chicken, a complete waste of its value. However, despite the rank 5 enslavement Gu being extremely precious and it would be a waste of its value, Fang Yuan was still going to use it. He would be facing enormous risks while refining second aperture Gu, and would no doubt be much safer with a second rank 4 Gu Master beside him. But there were so many rank 4 Gu Masters in the Blessed Land, who should he subdue? Yi Hua, Kong Ri Tian, Long Qing Tian, Chong along with Li Fei Lu, Tao Zi, Feng Tian Yu, Yan Jun, Li Xian, Hu Mei Er, Tai Clan's four old-timers, Tai Ruanan and others, some were powerful, some were cunning, some were sinister, some were brave, some specialized in long-ranged attacks, some had outstanding movement ability, some were superior in healing, some had huge wealth, some had large connections. Every choice had its consequences. Fang Yuan's thoughts rumbled like lightning and after thinking for a good while, he decided upon a choice. It shall be him. Land spirit, transport me. Fang Yuan decided and said with no hesitation. After about three minutes, Fong Tianyu was kneeling in front of Fang Yuan and wholeheartedly said, This subordinate Fong Tianyu greets master. Fong Tianyu, you could refine rank 5 Gu when you were at rank 3. Although the rank 5 Gu died after half a day, you achieved instant reputation from this. Now, things have changed, your clan is dwindling and facing extinction, you are no longer the young clan leader that had infinite prospects once. Fong Yuan looked at the kneeling Fong Tianyu and said indifferently. Fong Tianyu raised his head, having Lord as my master, it is this subordinate's honor and fortune. 
It is good that you understand this point. Next, continue to charge through the rounds according to my instructions. King Xian Inheritance has an undefeated hundred battles Gu, bring it to me. Fong Yuan instructed. Yes, this subordinate will exhaust all his strength to do this task for master. Fong Tian Yu promptly replied. Under the control of the enslavement Gu, he had become a loyal and devoted slave of Fong Yuan. Fong Yuan felt reassured at Fong Tian Yu. He was not only a famous and talented Grand Master of the Refinement Path in Southern Border, he was the biggest beneficiary of King Xian's inheritance in his previous life. In Fong Yuan's memories, it was him who obtained undefeated Hundred Battles Gu. Now after rebirth, Fong Yuan was not only going to obtain undefeated Hundred Battles Gu, but also take the original owner as his subordinate. Fong Tian Yu will be guided by the land spirit, it won't be a problem for him to charge through King Xian's inheritance. Like this, I have already acquired two of three kings' inheritance. However, this was also not Fong Yuan's main reason. The reason why he chose Fong Tian Yu was because of his innate talent at refinement path. After all, it was the first time Fong Yuan was refining the second aperture Gu. With such a grandmaster of refinement path beside him, it would definitely be a huge help in refining the Gu. After taking in Fong Tian Yu, Fong Yuan began to consider his last target to kill. Kill who? Fong Yuan's first thought was not the strongest Yi Hua and was also not the influential who may err in Tao Zi, but rather Tai Ruanan. Like Tai Mu Bai, Fang Yuan also thought highly of Tai Ruanan's future prospects. Such a genius that had already been sharpened through trials, if she was allowed to grow, she was bound to be a huge threat. She was more terrifying than even Yi Hua and others. However, the problem now was, the threat Tai Ruanan brought to Fang Yuan was far lower than Gu masters like Yi Hua, Kong Ri Tian and others. For the second aperture Gu refinement, if Fang Yuan killed Yi Hua, it would absolutely be more helpful than killing Tai Ruanan. To kill Yi Hua just to be safe, or root out Tai Ruanan in consideration of the future. Fang Yuan's thoughts were suddenly interrupted by the land spirit, not good, something happened. What? Fang Yuan was surprised, the land spirit's tone hit a trace of panic. A rank 4 Gu master has discovered a weak area of the blessed land. That area had been seriously damaged due to earth calamity, the heavenly power at that area is the weakest and the Gu masters can use one Gu there. Now, he is using a rank 5 Gu to spread poison all over the place. He will open a passage to the outside world in around 8 minutes at this rate, and create a hole in the blessed land. Fang Yuan immediately sensed the seriousness of the matter. In his previous life, he was a rank 6 Gu immortal and had once possessed a blessed land, naturally knowing the importance of this. If there was a hole in the blessed land and it connects with the outside world, the immortal essence expenditure would double. If it was not stopped and repaired in time, the hole would grow bigger and bigger, finally attracting winds of assimilation. Once the winds of assimilation blew, the blessed land would be destroyed. I have already separated and cut off most of the areas with holes in the blessed land. But there are three places that are in crucial areas and can't be cut off. To think this person's luck is so good to actually bump into one of the areas and even be aware of the hole. For the actual situation, take a look. The land spirit heaved a sigh. A scene appeared in front of Fang Yuan. In the scene, there was a Gu master wearing dark blue robe, he was thin and his gaze was gloomy. It was none other than Long Qin Tian. Right now, he was activating his soul rank 5 poison Gu, Jade Sky. Everywhere around him, the land and the sky were all suffused with a layer of pale green light. He who once dyed the sky jade green. Jade Sky Gu was Long Qin Tian's core trump card, 
a gu from the immemorial times and was fundamental extinct now. Long Qing Tian had used this gu to roam southern border and gain terrifying reputation for poisoning countless people. Now, he was poisoning this part of the blessed land. Chapter 388 Jade Sky Qing Tian, Who Immortal Jin Huang To think my luck is so good, I accidentally found this weakened zone. Long Qing Tian's gaze shone as he showed an excited expression. After all, although the three kings' inheritance had a hundred rounds, each one had multiple choices, like the branches of a gigantic tree. Him arriving at this place was rarer than one out of ten thousand, his luck was maxed out. The heavenly power restricting this place is very weak, I can actually use one goo. Huh, I will use the jade sky goo and poison this blessed land, that way, I will be able to communicate with the main world and form a connection. Once the path is made, I will be able to use goo worms here at will, I will not have to obey the three kings rules. After that, I will use this place as my base and expand my influence, and get all the rewards. He he he, eh. Who is it? Long Qing Tian sensed something and turned around, seeing one person far away. Little Beast King Fang Zheng. Long Qing Tian squinted, feeling weird that Fang Yuan was here. Fang Yuan did not reply, he waved his hand and a bone spike flew out. Long Qing Tian snorted, activating his defensive goo. All around him was the jade green jade sky goo's poison, already invading a huge area. Fang Yuan did not have detoxification methods and did not dare to touch the goo poison, thus he could only engage in long-range battle. At this time, Fang Yuan only had the mutated beast phantoms left, but he did not have the rank for all-out effort goo, thus he could not summon them as he wished. But he had killed so many goo master experts, and obtained many different goo worms that could be used for long-range attacks. In a few rounds of battle, Long Qing Tian was defeated by Fang Yuan. Long Qing Tian could only use one Gu at any given time. Fang Yuan could use any number of Gu with the help of the land spirit. The difference between the two was huge. Although he won, Fang Yuan's expression was ugly. Long Qing Tian's corpse was a pale jade green color, already poisoned by the jade sky Gu poison. This demonic expert, before his death, smiled at Fang Yuan darkly, before activating the Jade Sky Gu and killed himself with poison. Fang Yuan did not kill Long Qing Tian, he knew he had no hopes of surviving and suicided. As expected of a demonic head, Fang Yuan breathed out deeply. Jade Sky Gu contained a special poison from the immemorial era, it is already extinct. In the current southern border, only the four great doctors can cleanse it. If Fang Yuan wanted to devour his aperture, he would have to make contact with the poison. If he got poisoned, in less than two hours, his whole body will fade into a green light. Very few Gu masters could survive after getting hit with the Jade Sky Gu poison. Wu Shen Tong from Wu clan was extremely lucky. Even if Fang Yuan risked getting poisoned, he might not get any Gu. With the weak heavenly power here, Long Qing Tian could easily self-detonate his Gu worms one by one. The benefits were not proportional to the risks, Fang Yuan would not do it. But because of this, my last portion of immortal essence has been expended on Long Qing Tian. The beast strength placenta Gu's aptitude can only reach 89%. Fang Yuan felt great pity, after working so hard, he did not reach his desired 90%. I am after all too weak. The execution of these kind of plans can only be left to chances. This unexpected situation that Long Qing Tian caused caught him off guard. Fang Yuan was human, not God, he did not expect this to occur. Although he had his previous life's memories, and could clearly recall the details, for such minor details, if nobody mentioned it, who would know? Moreover, after his rebirth, 
he changed many events. Whether this incident by Long Ching Tian happened in his previous life was unknown. Never mind about the beast strength placenta goo, what's worse is that the land had already been infected by the jade sky goo poison, the poison will eventually break out. By then, this land will rot and turn into green blue light, creating a huge hole. Fang Yuan looked at this area, as the green color darkened and spread further out. Such a loophole would accelerate the blessed land's destruction. That also means that the land spirit will get even weaker. If it was a younger blessed land, as long as immortal essence is sufficient, even if the poison cannot be cured, it will be able to cut away this rotten area and fix the hole. But this blessed land is already too old, and lack in immortal essence. Forming a hole here now is like the last straw that breaks the camel's back. Sigh, I have little time left to refine Gu, I must hurry. At this point, Fang Yuan's merciless slaughter had reached its end. He returned to the hall, and fought against time, refining his Gu. As days passed, spring autumn cicadas pressure intensified. Fang Yuan only slept an hour a day, forcing himself to the limits. As he worked hard like his life was on the line, other than a few unavoidable failures, his process was rapid. Even the land spirit was full of praises. While Fang Yuan moved closer toward success, his younger brother was extremely high-spirited. Central Continent, Tian Ti Mountain At the middle of Hu Immortal Blessed Land, on Dang Hun Mountain, Fang Zheng climbed with great effort, surpassing people after people. During this period, he became the center of attention, attracting many people's gazes. It's him, that Fang Zheng from Immortal Crane sect. He surpassed another person again. Someone was jealous and envious. Fang Zheng Looking at Fang Zheng's ascending silhouette, Fairy Bai Xia had a complicated gaze. Something weird is going on with this lad. At this rate, he might be the first to reach the peak. Wei Wu Shang, who has some rivalry with Fang Zheng, had to admit that Fang Zheng had a high chance of success. Fang Zheng used both his hands and legs, climbing laboriously. He breathed raggedly, with Lord Sky Crane's help, he surpassed the ten sect elites one by one. Eventually, there were only three people above him Xiao Qi Xing, Ying Xing Ji, Feng Jin Huang. This lad is finally at the front, I did not use one's own Wei Gu in vain. He Feng Yang was watching closely, after seeing this, he sighed in relief. Without any accidents, the victor will be one of these four. A Gu Immortal said mentally. Immortal Crane sect speed is fast, but he he, it is still uncertain who wins until the last second. Indeed, Immortal Crane sect is only fourth now, and had a huge difference with the first three. Now, it depends on whether he can surpass them in the limited time ahead. The Gu Immortals conversed. The entire inheritance competition had reached its final stage. In the Grand Hall, a lump of multicolored light about the size of a water tank floated in the air as it spun. Fang Yuan controlled it as his eyes were bloodshot, muttering, Retrieve 90 grams of willow orpiment. At once, a relief sculpture moved away from the flooring and turned into solid mass, it was the willow orpiment. This was a material was from ancient times, rarely seen in today's world, it was retrieved by land spirit, carving out 90 grams and placing it into the rainbow-colored light. Fang Yuan concentrated, not having any carelessness, as the light turned yellow, he spoke, retrieve 30 snowball goo. 30 snowball goo flew into the yellow light, the light lump that was water tank size was still yellow, but its volume was shrinking. Eventually, it turned into a tiny inconspicuous soil yellow rock. Fang Yuan carefully held this rock, breathing in deeply. To refine this goo, he spent two days and one night, it had finally ended. He was extremely tired, lying down and falling asleep immediately, wanting to sleep for an entire week straight. 
But after an hour, he was woken up by the land spirit. This rock could not exist for long, after another fifteen minutes, it would evaporate. By then, Fong Yuan's hard work would have gone down the drain, and he would need to start over. Refining Gu is difficult, it has to be a strength path Gu master that has mastery over the refinement path. Even I, who has my memories and foundation, found it hard, and almost failed many times before, it was truly nerve-wrecking. No wonder no one managed to refine the second aperture goo in my previous life. Fong Yuan sighed as he patted his cheeks, waking himself up. After resting for an hour, he felt much better, but his head was still heavy. He had used up too much mental energy, and he was mentally drained. The second aperture goo was a rank 6 goo, refining an immortal goo was not an easy task. Fong Yuan did not need to look at the mirror to know that he definitely looked pale with deep eye bags, having messy hair and an extremely exhausted expression. Land spirit, how much immortal essence left? He asked. Five portions left. Land spirit answered, weakness could be felt from its voice. Eighteen days had passed since Long Qing Tian was killed. The rate of weakening of the Blessed Land shocked Fang Yuan secretly. To sustain the Three Kings' inheritance, immortal essence was expended greatly. Such a phenomenon had caused the outside world to go wild. At this period, more and more Gu Master came to explore to Blessed Land, some were established experts. Only five portions of immortal essence are left, but the Gu refinement is only two-thirds done. Land spirit, what day and month is it? Fang Yuan asked with a grim expression. According to your calendar, today is the 19th of October. 19th of October, according to my calculations, the second aperture Gu's refinement will reach the last step in five days. October 24th, eh? In history, isn't this the day where Fong Jin Huang attains victory and inherits the Hu immortal blessed land? Fong Yuan thought of Fong Jin Huang. This girl had exemplary talent and a strong background, after inheriting who immortal blessed land, she shot up rapidly. In future, she cultivated to Gu immortal realm using this, and spread her influence throughout the world, shining with a brilliant light. In Fong Yuan's previous life, he escaped southern border and arrived at central continent, becoming a Gu immortal and after creating the Bloodwing demonic sect, this woman was his mortal enemy. They had at least a few hundred battles, and eventually, Fang Yuan allied with numerous demonic path Gu immortals and attacked Hu immortal blessed land together, paying a painful price to kill her. My influence now should not have reached Central Continent yet. Fong Jin Huang obtained Hu immortal blessed land, the benefit was as great as the heaven. Even second aperture Gu cannot compare to it. Fang Yuan sighed, his previous life's enemy was about to soar to heaven, yet he was too far away and could not stop it. Fang Yuan did not know that his brother was still alive, and was engaging in a fierce competition with Fong Jin Huang and the others. The influence of his rebirth had already affected Central Continent's ten sects. Chapter 389, Only One Step Left October 20th In the main hall, faint red rays of light began to vanish and shone upon the surroundings. The relief sculptures on the bronze tiles had already disappeared by more than half. Fang Yuan's face was pale and he looked haggard, his eyes were red as his gaze was fixed at every change in the light lump. Everything was silent. October 21st. The land spirit brought a bad news, a rank 5 expert had entered the blessed land. Fang Yuan looked at the image and immediately recognized this person, so it was Xiao Mang of Xiao clan. He is an expert of the light path and possesses rank 5 extreme light Gu. In my previous life, he appeared on San Cha Mountain, he came after all. The land spirit gasped, extreme light Gu. Then it means this Xiao Mang can summon the light of glory of the immemorial era. 
this enemy is a huge threat to us. The land spirit was extremely worried. Immemorial times had nine heavens, white heaven, red heaven, orange heaven, yellow heaven, green heaven, azure heaven, blue heaven, purple heaven and black heaven. The sunlight of the immemorial era was extraordinary, it was the light of glory and could pierce through the nine heavens and spread its warmth and grace to all living beings. At present, red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue and purple heavens were no more, only white heaven and black heaven remained. The sunlight no longer contained the glory of the immemorial era, and had weakened to the extreme, being able to pierce through only the white heaven. Rank 5 Extreme Light Goo, once activate, could burst out with the intense light of glory of immemorial era. This light did not have even a little bit of attack power, but it could pass through everything and shine upon on every corner of the world. That is to say, even this blessed land could not cut off immemorial light. Fong Yuan scoffed, Ba Gui, you can be relieved. He obtained the extreme light goo from robbing a tomb and is an incomplete goo. He can only use it three times every month. If he crosses this limit, the goo will self-destruct. The land spirit let out a breath of relief, that's good. These days, I have been getting weaker. At the final juncture, you will have to rely on yourself. Hee <laughs> hee, I have always liked relying on myself. Fong Yuan laughed and continued to refine goo without saying any more. October 22nd. Puff. Damn it, another failure. Fong Yuan spat out a large mouthful of blood, his eyes turned black and almost lost his consciousness. He gritted his teeth and held the ground, he felt the world was spinning, he seemed to see stars and there were continuous buzzing sounds in his ears. Especially, his chest felt stifled and he felt like vomiting. After a long while, this nauseous feeling eased slightly. Fong Yuan let out a breath of turbid air and slowly sat down. Failure in Gu refinement will cause a backlash. I have already failed three times in this step, it is not that my skills are bad, I already did it perfectly but this step seems to rely on luck and has a probability of 1 in a 10 chance of success. Sigh. There is no time. Fong Yuan was looking pale, he resisted the pain of the backlash with great difficulty and began his fourth attempt. At this moment, the immortal essence in the bronze cauldron was less than four portions. October 23rd Fong Yuan stopped his actions and looked at the goo worm in his hand with bright light shining in his eyes. This goo was like a beetle with a big and graceful belly, a pointed head and tail. It did not have any legs or antennas. Its shape was vague, seemingly like a vague carving on crude earthenware, with no vitality like a grey stone. The earth spirit was joyous, young man, I really didn't misjudge you. You have succeeded in refining this false goo, now you only need to advance a step and turn false into real and refine the true second aperture goo. That's right, only one step remains. Fong Yuan's tone was complicated, relaxed and yet heavy. Refining this second aperture goo was like climbing a mountain. There were thousands of steps and who knew how many times he had failed, and he had gotten almost no rest, but finally he reached this stage. His previous effort and investment were not in vain, thus he was relaxed. However, this final step was the most crucial moment, a step of qualitative change and required the use of immortal goo divine travel goo. Although Fong Yuan had succeeded in refining spring autumn cicada, he had never used immortal goo to refine immortal goo, this final step was the step which he did not have any certainty of, so his mood was heavy. 300 years as spring, 500 years as autumn. With unlimited divine opportunity, swim and roam in the wilds, adding in third watch, and another third watch, obtaining nine. Nine as extreme, the refinement is complete. This final step required the use of lifespan goo, divine travel goo and also two third watch goo. 
Fong Yuan pondered. He understood the earlier steps and could even modify them. But as for this step, he only slightly understood its real intent. Land Spirit, what changes have occurred in the blessed land? Fong Yuan suddenly asked. Two batch of troops have arrived with dozens of rank 3 Gu masters, each being led by a rank 4 Gu master, their momentum is great. The land spirit showed the scenes to Fong Yuan. So it is Che clan and Zhuo clan, TSK, the two clan leaders are leading and it seems most of the elders have come. Fong Yuan recognized them with a glance. The whole San Cha Mountain was located in between Zhuo Clan's Ling Chan Mountain and Che Clan's Fei Lai Mountain. These two clans were continuously expanding and in the recent years, had been competing at the front line of San Cha Mountain with the intent to occupy it. However, the sudden appearance of the Three Kings' inheritance thoroughly ruined these two clans' plan. There were a hundred thousand famous mountains in the whole southern border along with countless unnamed mountains and hills which were covered with wild and ferocious beasts, their surroundings were dangerous and extremely hard to pass. Other forces could only send their elites. But these two clans were nearby and had restrained themselves at the beginning, but now when they felt the strange change in the inheritance, they finally sent most of their troops. To Fong Yuan, this was bad news. At the final juncture, everyone was sure to attack the center of the blessed land, this main hall. These Che clan and Zhuo clan's troops were all Fong Yuan's enemies. Besides them, when the time comes, there will be Li Xian, Hu Mei Er, Yi Hua, Kong Ri Tian and other experts. At the final juncture, I will have to concentrate fully on refining Gu and leave the defense to land spirit by Ning Bing and Feng Tian Yu. This is however only the external danger. At the final step, I will need to use two-third watch goo in a row, causing the time to flow nine times faster on me. This is a great tonic to spring autumn cicada and at that time, its pressure will increase drastically and endanger my aperture. This is the internal danger. With both internal and external danger, danger lurks everywhere. But I can only grip my teeth and persevere. I have already reached this stage, only one step remains before I am able to step on the summit. I will bet on this. If I really succeed, I will have a second aperture and as I cultivate to rank 6 in future, I will not fall too far behind Feng Jin Huang. In Feng Yuan's plan after rebirth, Qing Mao Mountain and Shang Clan were only a platform while the second aperture Gu was the stepping stone. But it was because of these small accumulations that he could sprint further. Next, there will be many opportunities which he would have no qualifications to participate without a certain cultivation and strength. All living beings have to go through survival of the fittest, I can't compromise on these opportunities and have to make every second count. Only then will I not let down my future knowledge. Fang Yuan heaved a long sigh before beginning to rest preparing for the final day. October 24th Fang Yuan woke up from his deep sleep and slowly opened his eyes. It has been so many days since I had such a comfortable sleep, next is the great battle. He stood up and slowly paced around the main hall. Under the land spirit's guidance, there were already two people standing outside the main hall. Master Feng Tian Yu immediately kneeled in front of Fang Yuan and offered a goo worm. This goo was nothing special in its appearance, looking like a round piece of limestone. It was none other than undefeated Hundred Battles goo. Subordinate was able to accomplish the mission, and after going through the hundredth round and receiving King Xian inheritance, I was able to take in these hairy men. At his side stood several hundred hairy men, their bodies were filled with dense hair and were standing there quietly. Good. Fang Yuan nodded and indifferently praised, he was not surprised. These hairy men had the innate nature to follow the people who were better at refining goo than them. It was not surprising for Fang Tian Yu to charge through the hundredth barrier and have these followers. Fang Yuan then walked towards by Ning Bing. 
By Ning Bing looked at the great bronze main hall, her gaze flashing with a trace of understanding, it seems this is the blessed land center area. Saying so, she looked at Fang Yuan, humph, you best remember your promise. Fang Yuan smiled, you can be at ease. He looked behind by Ning Bing, seeing the near hundred thousand dog beasts that did not seem to have an end, some were occupying an area, some were having fun with each other and some were running around, making a din. Fang Yuan slightly furrowed his brows, this was the weakness of Bai Ning Bing's commanding ability. If it was Zhang San San, Wu Gui, or Wu Shen Tong, any one of them could arrange these dogs in a tight formation and have them stand there without moving, like an army. However, this was after all something entirely beyond Bai Ning Bing, she had never received any enslavement path training before, and it was already not easy for her to be able to reach this stage. In fact, Bai Ning Bing was feeling dizzy now, her every movement was slightly lagging and her soul felt heavy, she felt her body was like a marionette. Controlling so many dog beasts at once was truly demanding a lot out of her. Listen to my arrangements now, be in a defensive formation. No matter how the enemies provoke you, do not take the initiative to attack. Remember it at all costs, remember. Fang Yuan warned. Okay, since it is your arrangement, whether this succeeds or fails has no relation to me. Bai Ning Bing coldly replied. He he, no matter success or failure, I will give you the Yang Gu. Fang Yuan assured with a smile. Humph, you better do what you said.
two light pillars have disappeared, this means King Exion and King Quan inheritance have been taken. Early morning, at the peak of San Cha Mountain, there was a commotion among the Gu masters. This time's inheritation opening is extremely strange, it has been maintaining itself till today, causing the blessed land to deteriorate extremely fast. Someone was doubtful. But compared to this, more people were paying attention towards the inheritance. Who are the two lucky guys who inherited the inheritance? I think King Xian inheritance should be inherited by Lord Tai Mu Bai. He has not come out since he entered. King Quan inheritance might have been inherited by Wu Gui. No, it should be our clan's Lord Wu Shintong. Humph, the way I see it, our demonic paths enslavement master Zhang San San also has a chance of winning. The crowd argued for a while before someone finally discovered something strange. Strange, none of the several rank 5 Gu masters that entered the inheritance has come out. What is going on? King Xian and King Quan inheritance were inherited, but why have the other guys not come out? They are being detained in the Blessed Land. This Blessed Land is already nearing its extinction, not long later the passage will open wide and let all of us enter and exit at will. A resonant voice spread. Lord Xiao Mang. Immediately, the righteous path Gu masters recognized the identity of the speaker. This Xiao Mang has not entered the inheritance after he arrived on San Cha Mountain, what the heck is he planning? Demonic Gu masters felt apprehensive inwardly, Xiao Mang's arrival had suppressed their flames. Xiao Mang proudly smiled after succeeding in attracting everyone's gaze, now I will use extreme light goo to open the passage for us. When he finished speaking, he opened his eyes wide and furiously activated his primeval essence while lifting his fists high. Extreme light goo. Heavens will goo. Empty fist goo. Killer move, immemorial light fist. Three goo activated at once, causing the whole sky to dim. Everyone looked with shock as light rays formed into an enormous fist the size of a mountain, it appeared abruptly and disappeared just as suddenly, striking at some unknown place. Extreme light goo might have no attacking power, but when combined with the other two goo, it could form an incomparably intense attack. Bam! A formless membrane was pierced through, the blessed land shook and an enormous hole formed into a passage that connected to the outside world. Chapter 390, M.O. Wu Tian On San Cha Mountain Peak, only one light pillar remained. But a gray plane appeared in front of everyone like a foggy image. It looked like it was separated by a veil, giving off a dreamlike atmosphere. How could a plane appear on the mountain peak? This was caused by Xiao Mang, he penetrated the blessed land and created a loophole. For a moment, everyone was silent, some were dazed, some shocked, and some looked at each other, no one moved. Xiao Mang snorted inwardly before slightly signaling with his eyes at somewhere in the crowd. A Gu master immediately ran out of the crowd, Lord Xiao Mang's might is unrivaled, even forcibly piercing through the blessed land. Like this, we are no longer confined by the restrictions of three kings' inheritance and all of us can enter. After he finished shouting this, he walked out of the crowd and with several jumps, entered the hole inside the blessed land. He then activated his goo worms in front of everyone. One, two, and three, the heavenly power's suppression around the hole had weakened, allowing him to activate three goo worms. This scene immediately caused the crowd to be restless, countless people seemed to be startled awake and their breathing turned rough. Being able to use goo meant they had the ability to defend themselves. That is to say, the risk in the blessed land greatly decreased. However, the performance was still not over, this goo master suddenly ran back and with several jumps, got out of the blessed land and returned to San Cha Mountain. Ha ha ha. He laughed loudly and cupped his fists to Xiao Mang, thank you lord for your favor. Xiao Mang chuckled, 
there is no need for thanks, no need. I only felt that everyone should have the rights to compete for the treasures of heaven and earth. It is too much that only a few people hog them. However, how much you can seize will have to depend on yourselves. We are very grateful to Lord Xiao Mang. Lord Xiao Mang is a great person, and his elder brother is the hero Xiao Shan. Truly, they are a pair of dragon and tiger brothers. Looking at all the great rank 5 Gu masters at San Cha Mountain, only Lord Xiao Mang cared about us weaker characters, he is a role model of the righteous path, he is so kind. The cheers and flattery of everyone entered Xiao Mang's ears like a tide. The crowd of people charged into the blessed land. A bunch of idiots. Xiao Mang was beaming with a warm and gentle smile, but was disdainfully scoffing inwardly. I came really late compared to Tai Mu Bai, Wu Gui, and the others. King Quan and King Xian inheritances have been taken, now only King Bao remains. Damn them! I had already pleaded with father and the elders, but they were only concerned about Xiao Shan's illness. Humph, it would be best if he dies, then I will become young clan leader. Humph, only after coaxing and pestering was I permitted to come to San Cha Mountain, but it is too late already. How can I compare to those guys who came before me? Only by creating a hole in the blessed land, and causing chaos can I get benefits from within. As for this blessed land, the more people that goes in, the more burden it will have to bear. He he he, the heavenly power will get weaker and weaker. So what if you guys obtain the inheritance? I can completely use my goo worms to seize them. King Bao, King Quan and King Qin inheritance, they are all mine. If I can't obtain them, then you guys can also stop thinking of them. Alright, this is more or less it. Fang Yuan nodded with satisfaction as he looked at his surroundings. This bronze main hall was situated on a hill. The hill was not steep and rather had gentle slopes around it. Such a terrain was not easy to defend, but the numbers of the dog beasts slightly made up for it. For over two hours, Fang Yuan had been arranging the formation for Bai Ningbing and explaining to her how to deal with any situations that could occur. Boom. Right at this time, the whole world shook and some dust fell off from the ceiling of the bronze hall. Not good, that Xiao Mang used extreme light goo to pierce through the blessed land and formed a passage. Large numbers of goo masters are rushing in, killing and competing, the whole situation has completely fallen into chaos. The land spirit's voice resounded. Fang Yuan chuckled without any panic. In his previous life's memories, it had been the same. Xiao Mang's arrival signified the development of this scene. Chaos is good, Xiao Mang wants to profit from this chaos while I need this chaotic situation to help me drag for time. Fang Yuan's dark eyes flashed with eerie light. Eh. A rank 5 Gu master actually mixed in among this crowd, this young man is really amazing to be able to deceive my senses, I only found something wrong when he made his move. The land spirit suddenly said. Fang Yuan furrowed his brows, this development was beyond his expectation, who is it? The image in front of him stopped and showed a young man with long black hair that reached up to his waist. He had a pair of deep and dark purple eyes with thick eyebrows which ends were raised up, giving him a crazed disposition like burning flames. He gave off an awe-inspiring demonic aura, disregarding the world, an unbridled tyrannical aura that seemed to want to destroy the world like the descent of an evil dragon. M.O. Wu Tian Fang Yuan Gaze concentrated and recognized the man. This person was a genius of the demonic path who had inherited an ancient inheritance and was a soul path Gu master. Whether it was his reputation or power, Fang Yuan was not his match. In his memories, in the Battle of Yi Tian Mountain, Mo Wu Tian had beheaded several rank 5 righteous path Gu masters, his reputation was fearsome and his demonic flames soared to the skies. At the end, when the demonic path was completely defeated, 
Mo Wu Tian broke through the besiegement and stormed out with no one being able to obstruct him. In my previous life, Mo Wu Tian did not come to San Cha Mountain. It seems the influence of my rebirth has already affected a person of such strength. Just as Fang Yuan was contemplating, inside the image, Mo Wu Tian seemed to have discovered being watched, he slightly turned around and unexpectedly looked right in Fang Yuan's direction. So it was this way. He muttered in a soft voice and the corner of his lips formed a sinister smile. This is bad, he seems to have sensed us and is charging towards here. The land spirit immediately gave a warning. Fang Yuan's eyes squinted into a slit, and Mo Wu Tian was actually targeting him with an intense hostility. What are his intentions, and what did he discover? The chaos will only last for a some time and when Tai Mu Bai and the others don't show up, it will start creating doubt. We don't have much time, we need to immediately start with the Gu refinement. Land spirit, raise the fog. Feng Tianyu, follow me into the main hall and help me in Gu refinement. They were pressed for time, Fang Yuan shouted his commands and brought Feng Tianyu into the bronze hall. As for the hairy men that followed Feng Tianyu, they were left outside to surround and protect the main hall, forming into the final line of defense. Looking at Fang Yuan and Feng Tianyu's departing figures, Bai Ningbing's eyes flashed with a cold light. The fog began to rise and spread, covering the main hall quickly before covering all the dog beasts on the hill. The bronze hall was spacious and majestic, its walls echoed back Fang Yuan and Feng Tianyu's footsteps, making the silence and the emptiness of this place even more conspicuous. At present, the bronze tiles on the main hall were already a scene of emptiness, most of the materials and goo worms were already consumed in refining goo with only a few relief sculptures remaining now. Fang Yuan walked to the bronze cauldron with Feng Tianyu and sat cross-legged. This is the final step, the true crucial moment. He took a deep breath, his eyes as clear as water. Feng Tianyu's breathing, however, was rough, showing his excitement. To a refinement path Gu master, refining an immortal Gu was something they looked forward to the most their whole life. Let's start. Fang Yuan took out the false second aperture Gu and directly threw it into the bronze cauldron. The bronze cauldron burned without fire, the thin layer of immortal essence on its bottom started to rapidly decrease and combust. It combusted and formed into a blue smoke that gracefully rose and covered the false second aperture goo. The false goo floated above the bronze cauldron and was turned into dazzling yellow light by this blue smoke. Fang Yuan and Feng Tianyu concentrated all their attention into blending the blue smoke and the yellow light. After an unknown period of time, the blue smoke turned into beads of grass that floated in the air and started growing. The yellow light turned into flowers that fluttered and fell into the grass. It is time. Fang Yuan took out a dagger and cut his artery, bleeding out his own essence blood. This step was extremely important, only with this step, could the refined second aperture goo become Fang Yuan's. Otherwise, it would be an ownerless object that would fly away once it was refined. Large amounts of essence blood infused into smoke. The blue smoke and yellow light immediately let out sizzling sounds and turned into a red cloud like a wave of blood sea. The blood surged and turned into a sphere that floated in the air without spreading. The cloud was continuously evolving, blood sea gradually calmed down and formed a field, a large expanse of red paddy that was scarlet like blood grew from the field. Fang Yuan let out a breath of turbid air at this and promptly used a goo to heal his wounds. Even so, he had lost a huge amounts of blood and his face had turned wan. Wild grass grow wildly, the chi of blood like the sea. Three hundred years as spring, five hundred years as autumn. With unlimited divine opportunity, swim and roam in the wilds, adding in third watch, and another third watch, obtaining nine. Nine is extreme, the refinement is complete. 
He already knew the recipe inside out, but still recalled it once more now. 300 years as spring, 500 years as autumn, next, it is lifespan gu. Ba gui. Fang Yuan shouted. The land spirit was already on standby and immediately took out two lifespan gu at Fang Yuan's call. These lifespan gu were one large and one small like ginseng or tree roots and gave a crude sense of touch. The small was 300 years lifespan gu, it was like a blue snake that had formed into a round loop, it could increase a gu master's lifespan by 300 years with no side effects. The large one was like a young dragon that wanted to fly to the sky, bearing its claws, it could raise the lifespan by 500 years and similarly with no side effects. The worth of these two gu was self-evident. Feng Tian Yu's eyes blossomed with light and his whole body shook at the sight of these two gu. Fang Yuan first threw in the 300 years lifespan gu into the cloud. The cloud swallowed the lifespan gu and immediately started raging like boiling water. Right now, the cloud seemed to have become a blue-scaled long snake that attempted to slip out of Fang Yuan's control. Fang Yuan was caught unprepared and almost lost his grasp on this blue snake. When he managed to react, most parts of the blue snake had already slipped out with only its tail remaining in his hands. Fang Yuan tightly gritted his teeth and opened his eyes wide, they were completely red. He poured in all his attention and all his strength to tightly grasp the cloud and not let it escape. Once the cloud escaped, all his previous effort would turn into an illusion.